YouTube Run Junkies, I got a request from some of you to talk about compression gear, how and why it works, and it's a question that I actually have had as well. Although I use compression socks on occasion, I wasn't sure if it actually made a difference. So today I thought I'd talk about compression gear. How does it work, or does it work at all? There's been quite a bit of research on compression and I've left links to a few articles in the description below. And I also thought I would add to this conversation with my own personal experience with compression gear. Compression for running grew out of the medical field that would prescribe these garments for diabetic patients, edema, and vein disorders. Companies that make these compression garments claim that it increases blood circulation, decreases the lactic acid buildup in the tissues and reduces the amount of movement during high impact activity. So think of it this way. When you hit the ground, your muscles don't wiggle as much, which decreases your fatigue in those muscles. The question though about whether or not compression garments work is actually multifaceted because what are we really asking? On the one hand, we have this question. Does compression increase performance? Well, one study shows that there is no improvement in running economy, mechanics, or efficiency. Other studies show that some athletes may run longer or a little faster before experiencing fatigue. But the other side of this question is this, does compression aid recovery? And that is what I think we need to talk about. You can find compression gear for almost every area of the body. The most common are socks like these, the knee-high compression socks with the sock attached. You can also find calf sleeves that doesn't have the sock attached to it. You can also find compression tights that cover your quads and hamstrings. And there are also compression shirts out there. So much of the research is anecdotal evidence and I'm gonna add to that here. I wanna share with you my personal experience with compression. Compression socks like these knee-high CEPs help me endure longer runs or races without experiencing fatigue as quickly or dramatically. Although I don't like wearing them in the warm summer months because there is that trade-off between the compression and the warmth, I have found that if I wear these socks during long runs, my calves are not as sore after the fact. I might also put them on after a particularly challenging workout to just keep the blood flow going. And if I am traveling right after a race and getting on a plane and sitting down for a while, that is the best time that I put on my compression socks. I will wear those compression socks to reduce the swelling while I'm just sitting on the plane and not moving too much. So let's go back real quick. Does compression increase performance? Most of the studies are indicating that no, they do not. But does compression aid in recovery? Most of the evidence, anecdotal or otherwise, is starting to show that yes, they do. In the articles I've left in the description, they use a lot of big sciencey words, but I'm gonna break it down a little bit. Compression garments may help muscles repair faster, reducing swelling, which means that your body will recover faster. You may experience less soreness if you wear compression garments during and after activity. But okay, let's ask this question. If compression aids in recovery, meaning that you recover faster after a workout, does it actually increase your performance as a result of that? We could possibly make that argument. If we do recover faster, then maybe in our next workout, we could work a little harder. Just food for thought. Again, going back to what I use, I basically use the full compression sock from knee all the way down to the toe. Calf sleeves can be a bit of a challenge because I've talked to a few people who experience foot swelling because the circulation can't get back up through the calf sleeve. I've not used compression tights, but I would like to, and my favorite compression sock is CEP. I have found that those work best for me. I have tried Smartwool and I've tried Two Times U, and the calf width is a little tight for me. Most compression socks and calf sleeves work off of your calf width as opposed to the size of your foot. So I would highly recommend you going into your running specialty store and getting fit for the right sock before you just buy them online. But that is what I have discovered about compression. My question for you today is this. Have you ever tried compression garments and have you noticed a difference before, during, or after your workout? Please leave your thoughts, questions, comments, and suggestions in the box below. And a very special thanks to those of you who suggested this video topic. 
I am getting a lot of great ideas from you guys, so please keep them coming. And remember, I am doing a live Q&A on Thursday, August 31st, the last day of VEDA, and that will be at noon mountain time. I hope you can join me for that. As always, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe. August might be almost over, but we still have a lot more to come on this channel. And please head over to GoFindYourAwesome.com for a lot more about compression gear, its benefits, and whether or not it actually works. But that is it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Get out there, go find your awesome. Until next time, happy running.